Okay, now we're going to continue to talk about fixed assets, but we're going to talk about some other cash outlays that may happen for our fixed assets. So we're going to be talking about whether or not it is a revenue expenditure or a capital expenditure. So the word that you see in both of these is expenditure. Expenditure in this situation just means that we have a cash outlay. That is, we paid cash. So in each of my four examples, I have the word paid because we have paid in each one. So no matter which of these, we will be crediting cash because we did pay for it. But we have to ask ourselves, is this a revenue expenditure or a capital expenditure? So let's talk about what that means. If it's a revenue expenditure, that simply means that we paid towards our fixed asset for something that is not long lived. It's just gonna benefit us for the current period. And it's just gonna be there because this truck in this example is here to help us earn revenue and we just need to keep it maintained and repaired so that we can keep doing what we do which is earn revenue so that's how we're going to remember that that's a revenue expenditure if it's a capital expenditure this means that whatever cash we paid out was going to either add to the value of my truck or it was going to make my truck last longer that is extend its useful life all right let's see how this works in the first one i paid forty eight thousand dollars for a new truck that's easy that is i buy a truck and i pay cash and it is forty eight thousand dollars Another way to say that is I capitalize my truck. That is, I put it on the balance sheet because it's going to benefit me for the next few years. All right, let's look at the next one. Here, I'm gonna add a hydraulic lift to my truck. This adds to the value of my truck. It doesn't do anything as far as the engine. It, it's not going to extend its useful life, but it does add value. So what do I do for this? I add it to my truck again because it adds to the value of my truck. It's gonna be $4,000. Let's look at the next example down here. So I have before engine, then I rebuilt my engine, and I have the after engine. I paid $6,000 to do that. So this is going to extend the useful life of my truck. It doesn't add any value, but it does make it last longer. So what I do when it's going to last longer is I reduce my accumulated depreciation so I can go ahead and depreciate it for some more years. So we're gonna debit accumulated depreciation for the engine rebuild. And the last one here is an oil change or any kind of maintenance that's happening. That is not long lived. That's going to be considered a revenue expenditure and it will just be an expense account, usually repairs and maintenance. And it is an expense account for $45. So let's talk about how to classify these. First of all, I would ask myself, is the cash outlay long lived? Well, for the oil change, no, it's not. That's why it's a revenue expenditure, and that's why we debit repairs and maintenance expense. Let's look at the next question. Is the cash outlay long lived? Let's look at it for the hydraulic lift. Yes, it is long lived. It's gonna last us more than a period. Does it add value to the asset? Yes, it does. We're gonna debit the asset and that is called a capital expenditure. Let's look at the next question on the engine rebuild. Does it extend the useful life rather than adding value? Yes, it did. That's why we debit accumulated depreciation so that we can depreciate it longer. So that's how you classify each of these cash outlays as either a revenue expenditure or a capital expenditure.